okay so uh, for the first thing um, i want to tell you um, is i want to remind you what i already said in the monte carlo lecture that when we model our beads uh, each of our bead represents uh, 9.2 kilo base pairs and uh, so basically this double helix the dna double helix the mother and so on so forth of the double helix and the proteins and the histo and loops etc they are all within our bead so they uh, the, just to emphasize that uh, there is no resolution that we have what happens uh, inside the bead so all this is supposed to so this bead is supposed to represent around 150 nanometers 150 to 200 nanometers length scale and uh, the dna is packed inside it and we have no information so if a dna opens due to helicase uh, and uh, then there is uh, and then there is this uh, replication bubble and uh, the uh, okizaki uh, fragments and so on and so forth so all that is happening inside our bead and we have no explicit access or uh, what is happening inside the bead uh, at the length scale of uh, less than 9.2 kilo base pairs we don't have any information about it we do not model all the proteins we do not explicitly model the replication bubble the effect of the helicase and uh, all that we do uh, in our simulations uh, is uh, when 9.2 kilo base pairs of uh, of uh, dna uh, is replicated so that you have a dna dotted dotted dna i we simply add one more bead to the chain which represents the addition of 9.2 kilo base pairs now in today's discussion uh, and the rest of what we are going to tell you uh, we do not have uh, we are not going to talk about replication in today's in today's uh, discussion okay all that we are going to look at is suppose there's just the mother dna uh, this is the mother dna within a cylinder within a cell uh, in the particular arc zero architecture and what is the arrangement so we are going to talk about replication but today is not the day we will uh, make more uh, movies debashi will make more movies and we will present that the next round uh, of movies or during when we meet in google, uh, in google meet or uh, zoom whenever we meet we are going to discuss replication today there is no replication so this is this is basically sets up the other thing is we are as i am just repeating what i already said in the recorded class that since we are looking at 9.2 kilo base space uh, we need not we can consider our dna to be a flexible chain we don't need to consider the rigidity of the chain this was also mentioned in the other uh, of lightus monte carlo class okay so first even before showing us uh, you the movies um, so what i'm going to do is um, uh show you the schematics so this is the schematic this is the schematic uh, uh, which is also there in our paper and what we have done now is follow your convention uh, and uh, basically this is the this is the arc2 architecture so this is uh, basically one of the smaller loops Uh, and this is uh, the so called write up which you also uh, show in uh, blue uh, and this is the this is the uh, this is the left up which is shown in red and these are the two smaller loops that we have uh, as we have mentioned in the papers and this is the bigger loop now just to okay and uh, i'll just uh, share your paper as well Mm, no yeah your paper is here so i'll just remind you so this is uh, from your 2015 volring paper and uh, you have uh, plotted the right arm by blue that's the convention we are following and you have uh, marked different loci 
right? And then decided whether you have LOR or OLR or ORL and so on. So this 30th minute and this 30th minute, we have marked here and in our movies by a big blue sphere. This is the, corresponds to the 30th minute. And this corresponds to the uh, loci, the monomer corresponding to the 30th minute. Now note the monomers of the bigger loop, they are light blue in the schematic. And also in the movies that you are going to see next, uh, they are light blue. Uh, and uh, the right arm of the bigger loop, they are light red, light, light orange, uh, light, light red. Uh, so this is the this is the convention that we are going to uh, follow. Okay, so we are going to show you two movies. Um, in one of the movies, uh, basically we have not. Uh, so all, this entire loop is uh, deep is uh, is uh, the same blue color. There is no distinction. So uh, so now. If need be, we can where did it go? No. Yeah. So this is from one run and Oh yes, sorry. So uh, here we have initialized the polymer in the arc two architecture uh, in the center of the cylinder, and as you saw that the polymer is going to open up and occupy the entire cylinder. So it's still reaching equilibrium configuration, and uh, green is of course Ori, and the thirtieth monomer, uh, the thirtieth minute monomer at the thirtieth minute. And uh, um, in the left arm is this big blue, and uh, the the other one, the the left arm, the thirtieth minute monomer is this uh, big uh, red. And you see as the conformation. So this is the arc two architecture, and you see as this conformation. Uh, as the polymer keeps changing conformation by Monte Carlo, as discussed in the class, you'll see that um, the left arm and the right arm is overlapping. But at the same time, uh, you would notice that for large fractions of the time, actually the ori is towards the middle of the cylinder. So at times it does go off, but then it does comes back and stays for most of the time for the middle of the cylinder. Whereas the 30 minute monomers, uh, they also jiggle around uh, due to, due to uh, because it's diffusing around uh, of that at uh, Monte Carlo as we discussed. And you see that we have all sorts of configuration. This is just the mother, there's no replication here. Uh, so here uh, there's just only one, polymer in arc two architecture in a cylinder and we get uh, all sorts uh, so sometimes ori is in the middle so you have lor uh, configuration but now where the ori has gone uh, gone to one side oh this is much better it has become smaller now you can see the entire cylinder actually so uh, so now uh, basically what you can see is you have the LOR configuration, ORL, O, uh, LR. So all possible confirmations are possible uh, even within the arc zero architecture. And now we can measure, uh, sorry, arc two architecture. Uh, sorry. Uh, and uh, the point is now as the movie proceeds, we can measure. And we have actually measured, we will send you the uh, data also, for how long does it remain in OLR and how long does it remain in, at LOR. 
and uh, we can tag different monomers 30 minutes so this is the movie for the 30th minute one but we have also data when we have the 11 minutes uh, corresponding um, to your uh, 2015 paper or the 39 minutes or uh, and we can in for each case we can actually tag how long the system remains in the olr how long it remains in lor and and so on and so forth right the other thing oh this is the other movie actually yeah. okay yeah uh, so now this is uh, so uh, so you already saw that now this is another movie now this is equivalent to we are looking at we are looking at uh, suppose uh, you know here you see that the big loop is uh, plotted some of the monomers of the blue, uh, big loop right arm is plotted in light blue uh, left arm big loop the plotted in light red and the two smaller loops they are these big spheres bright red and bright blue okay and what you see is uh, that the two smaller loops typically point occupy one half of the cylinder and most of the monomers of the big loop are occupying other half of the cylinder now in this movie what you see is 10 snapshots are from one run so suppose that that's from for one bacteria and after that next 10 snapshots are from some other run that corresponds to you you could think of it another run to be another set of bacteria so we have 50 different runs corresponding to corresponding to 50 uh, independent suppose bacteria i mean we of course don't really have bacteria this is just a modeling but 50 runs we can consider it to be 50 different bacteria and in each case we have 10 snapshots and you can see how they are arranged so you can also statistically average over that and you will always see that uh, well uh, here the blue and red are spread all over so which is corresponds more to the donut and which uh, corresponds more to the do donut because blue and red is spread all over this is in the arc 2 architecture but in spite of that we can get all sorts of configurations like this is o uh, r and l and if we run it a bit more uh, here you might get suppose i mean you see here uh, this is in the same z coordinate z uh, long axis but but if you run it a bit more now this is again uh, l uh, l o r configuration so all possible configurations are available uh, are possible uh, including very high I mean, including high percentages of uh, LOR, right? The Devashi is also with me. So in case uh, he's prompting me, uh, he has made all these movies anyway. So all these configurations are possible and you can have a look at it slowly. Of course, we will send you the uh, YouTube link of these movies so that you can have a slower look. Now again, you, here you see you have ORL configuration, right? So all these configurations are possible even if you have uh, the ARC2 architecture, uh, which is favoring a donut, but it can, uh, but it is also having all sorts of configurations. So it doesn't actually uh, contradict the different configurations that you get we have an histogram but that will send you later and this is only for one mother polymer this is non uh, not replicating so once you have an access to that while we meet next day we'll also show you data for replicating dna uh, we can show the two dotted dna arms but i want to emphasize the replication bubble which is 
talked about biology, if that happens at a, I think a smaller length scale, uh, which is inside a bead, and we cannot model that, and or we shouldn't claim our daughter arms to be replication bubble because uh, Okizaki fragments they are happening at all much smaller length scales. Okay, so uh, you, anyway, this is what the introduction about the movies is. In this movie you can always. Um, see independently in the YouTube link. Uh, and yeah, again, you see that the big loop monomers are on one side and uh, the other two loops are spread all over and can be spread all over. But they are mainly occupying one half of the cylinder. And they're not mixing much. That's because entropic repulsion between the loops, which I also discussed in the Monte Carlo class. Okay, so I think uh, any other question, of course, if you you can, after looking at the, we can uh, meet over uh, whatever G meter room and have more discussions. Uh, so I will end the recording here. Uh, I wonder. Ah, yes. Now I will stop recording.